Hi everybody, today I'm going to alter my tea bag holder here. So I used the purple acrylic pen there because I'm planning using the purple the purple paper. The excuse me. So I'm painting inside. I don't want to uh cover the paper inside, so I decided to paint. So when you paint first before you put it together, you have to be careful with the tab, it might get a little bit too tight, you might have to sand the tab before you put it together. So, I do have a lot of fun doing this project. So, you might have to paint a couple of times to get the color like a, you know, deep color that you want. So, now I paint the bottom. So, I didn't paint on the side, I did paint on the center part. I'll go back and paint later. Now time to go. I like to light that one up when I using the glue, so it's easy for me it to not miss any spot. It need to be glue in there. Now I forgot my lid. So busy. You need to put your lid first, okay? I to clean all the excess glue on the bottom for the part, but to glue that one in there. And I go, oh my god, the side that I miss. I paint on the side, this one, I end up covering with it because I didn't know that I didn't have any problem with the paper cover on that lid there. It might have a hard time opening, but it didn't have problem at all. So I end up covering the whole thing there on the side. Now I'm measuring my uh, paper. So here is the paper. It's a uh, graphic paper by Swiss sentiment. I use pretty much uh, purple theme here, the floral, and the other paper purple. So I'm trying to get all my measurement. Now I'm using this uh, ink pad to distress on my edges. It makes a lot of difference when you uh, distress all the edges so you don't see uh, like uh, white paper on the edges. Now I'm going to get my paper there on my tea box. Now I'm sealing with that. So on the side, see in the front, it another piece in the front is shorter, so I'm cutting all the overlap of that one. It's not even. So do the same thing with both sides. Um, cover. See that one? It worked perfect. I just loved it. I think I forgot to uh, sealing my uh, with my mid medium there. This one I didn't sell. Some of them I forgot. <laughs> I love love this. It's how it turned out. I do love it. Now time to uh, cut over there to go into the shape. It's just all the edges. Now I'm using my uh, chip wash pens and I want to use both sides. So I'm painting with the uh, wire color paint or just so anything. So I paint like twice. Now I'm gluing my fence there. 
both sides and using some flower spray there that it cuts a little bit, you know, small to fit in the end sentiment there. That's Christmas sentiment though. I love it. It's going there perfectly. So in the other side, I just used a little flower. Is and lamp post pretty much diet. Thank you everybody for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye bye. Have a good day.